most of my hobbies involves my sight. Um, so what do I do about that? There are people out there who are visually impaired or um, legally blind for that matter, and they are still painting. And so I began to ask myself the question, do I want to tackle painting or do I want to try something else? Like I, I, a couple months ago, I purchased a tongue drum. I could, you know, play that every day and learn uh, a song a week and get really good at that as a hobby and to relax. Um, I can probably play the tongue drum for about three hours straight, believe it or not. Um, I kind of get lost in the process. Um, but that was just one idea of what I could do. Um, but when you think about it, on average, you sleep about six to eight hours. So that means you have, what? You have like 16 more hours, uh, really, you know, some give or take, you know, shower, eating and things like that, okay? So how should I fill my day? That's the question. And I like being on a schedule, like get up in the morning, go and uh, have coffee, maybe a little something light for breakfast, then meditate for a half hour to an hour, um, do some reading, uh, and then whatever kind of paperwork, phone calls I need to make, uh, look at the news to see what's going on in the world, go online, check my email, and then generally after that, it's time to go to work. But now I'm not working right now um, until my eye heals, so, when I think about the time that I have available, sure, I can listen to some audio books. I just feel like I should be up around moving and things like that. So I want to ask you a question. Should I paint a picture or should I learn a new song on my tongue drum? So that is the question. And I want to find out if there's actually anybody that is going to leave a comment and say, yes, Nadine, you should do A, paint a picture, B, play the steel drum, learn a new song. So those are the two. Now, because I'm a firm believer that we all have the power to heal, with each of those choices, I am going to record or take pictures of that process and dedicate it to the healing of the world from all the racism and the unrest that's going on. So I will contribute, I will focus on that very idea. So you have a choice. One, paint a picture about the racial unrest that's going on in the world to learn a new song on a still drum, which I will record um, for the healing of the world due to the racial unrest that's going on. So there you have it. I hope to hear from you. Uh, let's say uh, by the weekend. So by Sunday, uh, and I'll try to remember every day to remind people to vote on which one I should do. So um, until the next time, um, I thank you for checking in. Um, oh, also, before I forget, I did see the doctor today. I had to get an extension of a doctor's note um, because I'm not able to return to work. Um, so I'm moving along the way I should be, um, right now, I'm just focusing on healing. And for me, healing is doing some kind of art. So I hope you will be a part of the process and pick one of the two. Um, painting a painting or playing a song uh, on a steel drum uh, for focusing on the, on the racial unrest that's going on in the world. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again tomorrow. This is day 21 of my healing process after having a vitrectomy on my right eye. And as always, love, light, and most of all,
may you have joy.